Kitten Spay. Kitten Spays are some of my favorite surgeries. The kitten in this video is a shelter kitten about 8 to 10 weeks old, weighing 1 kilogram or 2.2 pounds. The kitten is clipped and surgically prepped from the umbilicus to the brim of the pelvis. A sterile surgical drape is placed. A 1 centimeter incision is made at the midline, halfway between the umbilicus and the brim of the pelvis. Subcutaneous fat is bluntly dissected or removed with scissors to allow visualization of the linea. The body wall is tented with a thumb forceps and a surgical blade is used to make a stab incision into the abdomen, taking care to avoid abdominal contents. The incision is extended bluntly with scissors. The uterus is located using a spay hook. The body wall is tented and the hook is placed in the abdomen and directed down the body wall with the point of the hook pointing caudally. The point of the hook is then directed medially and swept upwards to catch the uterine horn or broad ligament. The uterus is exteriorized and the horn is followed cranially to the ovary. A window is created and the proper ligament is clamped. The suspensory ligament is isolated and is cut with a scalpel blade. The pedicle is ligated using a pedicle tie technique. After tying, the pedicle tie is tightened with the fingers and is allowed to return to the abdomen. The uterine horn is followed to the uterine body to the second horn and the second ovary. At the second ovary, a window is created and the proper ligament is clamped, the suspensory ligament is cut, and the pedicle is ligated using a pedicle tie technique. After tying, the knot is tightened and returned to the abdomen. The remainder of the broad ligament is broken down to allow the uterus to be fully exteriorized. The uterus is fully extended caudally. I like to place a clamp to provide traction to keep the uterus from sliding back in. A surgeon's knot is tied using 4 aught monofilament absorbable suture and at least four square knot throws are placed. The uterus is sharply transected distal to the clamp and the uterine stump is released into the abdomen. The abdomen is closed routinely using four aught monofilament absorbable suture with a single cruciate suture. The first surgeon's throw is placed only tight enough to oppose tissues without slipping, and the square knot is tied with a minimum of five throws. Adequate bites of external rectus sheath are taken to ensure suture security, and care is taken not to crush the body wall during suturing and knot tying. A single subcuticular inverted suture is placed to close the incision. The suture is placed deep to shallow, shallow to deep, so that the knot is buried without requiring tacking to the body wall. While tying the suture, care is taken to hold the suture ends parallel to the incision in order to facilitate burying the knot. A very small amount of green tattoo paste is applied directly to the incision in order to mark this cat as having been spayed. 